Well, now to a CTV News exclusive, a desperate online search for the most prized Christmas gift has ended badly for hundreds of Ottawa families. Members of a Facebook group found cheap and plentiful Hatchimals until they learned what was really going on was a Christmas scam. CTV's Annie Bergeron Oliver has more on what this Hatchimal scam is all about. Annie. Well, Patricia, the group is called from East to West Ottawa Co-op, and there are about 7,000 members in this Facebook group. And this Christmas, about 450 people thought they were buying Hatchimals at a big discount. But the shipment from overseas never arrived, and now their money is gone, leaving many to ask what happened and why. It's the hottest toy on the market, so hot you can't find one anywhere. That's why Carrie Hogan Vachon turned to a popular Ottawa Facebook group back in October, offering a flash sale on Hatchimals for just $36 and delivery in two weeks. Saving money on a wow gift is, is ideal at Christmas time, and when you're buying three of them and uh, you're on a budget, it's ideal. Instead of that wow gift, Hogan Vachon and hundreds of others in Ottawa got scammed. It's a very tough lesson to learn, but... Uh, I guess I'll think about it a little bit more now and not put all my eggs in one basket when I have to buy that next gift. <laughs> the 36,000 collected from the East to West Ottawa co-op group allegedly taken by an international seller. The people running the Facebook group noticed red flags when the shipment kept getting delayed and gave everyone an update. We sent through the bank. Bank accounts were verified, ID required. We did our due diligence. These people had interactive websites and stores, ETC, to make it all seem real eventually telling the group the money was gone. In a statement, the group organizers told CTV Ottawa, we are extremely upset that this vendor took advantage of us. The Ottawa Police Fraud Unit is now investigating. It says that the money was sent overseas to Malaysia and that in these types of circumstances, getting the money back, even solving this kind of crime can be extremely challenging. The group says it is working to get people some money back, but a full refund, not hopeful. For many, like Hogan Vachon, it's not about the money, but the heartbreak. It's turned out a little uh, sad for us. My niece and nephew are not getting it. They're going to get a letter instead uh, from Santa saying that uh, he wasn't able to produce them as fast as he thought he could. Now, the group maintains there are no problems, but some viewers have told us they've had issues in the past with delayed deliveries, items that have been seized, seized or never received. Patricia? All right, CTV's Annie Bergeron Oliver reporting live for us tonight. Thank you. You're welcome.